Well, do you calculate that you would enter paradise and there would not come to you the life of that which came to those who passed away before you? Yeah, basically. And that's what is the discussion to that? It must have come out that side of the brain during the yes. process of language. It's what we think about it. Bart can tell you so. The knowledge and knowledge of the soul is essential. Just, just one man and the difference he can make. He was a born loser. Maybe everything will be in touch. There's back in the wrong course. Do you calculate? Before you do calculate, to calculate, to add, subtract, some people say, would have arrived if once you would have left with once you pace. But I'm back to no man, no woman, no king, no queen, no government. But I will fall on my knees before my wife. Would you like to know much more about Miriam? Don't worry about being from that place, he says. I'll make close to see if you met me. Friggin' hell, it's not two degrees out there, it's a summer dress. Stop stressing and making you sweat, it's about being modest, he said. I cocked my head sideways and what could be deemed a modest pose and told him to this. Exacerbated his deafness. <clears throat> he was Catholic, 
And my mother was Jewish Catholic, and that was the spiritual terrain in our household. And Marmaduke Pixel, what a combination of names. Reportedly, my great great uncle, his books were on my father's bookshelf, out of reach from my small hands. And sometimes people would ring the house and they would ask me, Are you by any chance related to the great Muhammad Marmaduke Pixel? And I would say, Yes, yes, I am. And a little bubble of pride would burst inside. And then, sit away. And I remember the time I was watching Parkinson's with my father, Voldemort Loud. And he was interviewing Dame Edna Everidge. And he turned to her and said, I don't know the literary sort, Dame Edna. Who do you read? And she said, Well, Michael, my favourite author has to be the great Mahalik Marmaduke Pickthorn. And his book, Sai, a fisherman. <laughs> I've never seen the box that I made him. Jumped out of his chair and said, You see? You see? <coughs> but I didn't see. And when he died, I scrambled around his office and his study trying to find entrails of something about the man, the father I never knew. <coughs> Can I just ask what kind of 
standard um, spaces you might be looking for, where you think it's an immersive experience, conventional seating, do you know any of that yet? Um, not absolutely, but I think it's conventional seating, small studio. I don't see it as an outdoor piece. No, I don't think it's an outdoor piece. Small studio touring. Uh, I think possibly, I mean, we're, we're going to do a scratch performance at the Woking Mosque to some of the young people at, at, at the mosque, probably East London Mosque as well, places of worship, community centres. I think all those possibilities are, um, are right. Um, just a quick question. How does the sandwich um, fall part of the, the piece and, and where are you going with the sandwich? Well, at the moment, the sign language is about my father's deafness, so it's something I wanted to put in there. But I think the piece is about transformation and transformation. I think my Muhammad Marmaduke picks a really, uh, his struggle to translate the Quran. Um, he wrote a really glorious Quran. Uh, we're also working with young deaf Muslims as well, so it was really a gesture to my father to put that in there. But having studied Kabuki as well, that's very iconic in symbolism. Drench, so it's, it's still that, that's still a sort of a gesture. Is it, is, sorry, is it British sandwich to be using or is it a, a different sandwich? It was just following the form, it wasn't pure PSI. Yes, it was SSI. Yes, yes. Great, and yes. yes. <coughs> I'm really interested in British Muslim and yes, I think. Can you explore that bit? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a richness, I think there's a, a richness in using sign language in our comics you know, for the unspoken things. But it's a, but I, it, there's a distinction between how that will work as, as an access measure. Uh, I think there will obviously be provision for doing it in terms of performances. But we have to really work that out and we'll work with deaf communities to achieve what we want to achieve. And you mentioned about the, uh, the nuances. Have you got any consideration about the ambassador in the learning program or education? Yeah, absolutely. On the website, if you go to the website, we started to create and explore different themes using one of the things that we've got within Turkey and the workshop we've done already. Um, it's, it would be about, say, people who bought in the show, um, connecting with their local communities and finding out what they would want to explore in and around the theme. So that could be faith, could be conflict, could be uh, representation of women, it, those sorts of things. And we would then um, put those artists specifically interested in exploring it around the theme to that project. Great. Well, that seems to me as if you're asking um, or providing a wonderful opportunity to uh, venues, particularly uh, community leaders, to get involved with the project now and uh, help, help it to uh, put its total, total work in 2013. 2013. Yeah. Very good luck with it. Very good.